Our next guest is a church leader who has been outspoken on the sex abuse scandal. Cardinal Wilfred Napier is Archbishop of Durban, South Africa. He's a member of the Council for the Economy, established by Pope Francis in 2014, and is in Rome for meetings. Your Eminence, welcome back to the program. Thank you very much, and it's lovely to be with you again. The sex abuse scandal has rocked Chile, the U.S., and Australia, and many other countries. Pope Francis has summoned church leaders to the Vatican in February. Do you expect the focus to yes. be on the abuse of minors, or will it be broader and address sexual misconduct among clergy? I think that, you know, when we've got a, a, a gathering of church leaders from all over the world, you can't restrict the, the topic to a very narrow um, uh, ambit. You have to be broader and leave it open for different parts of the world to raise issues that are uh, probably question uh, problems in their areas. And therefore, I would expect it to be a little somewhat wider than simply ch uh, child sex abuse. In the U.S., the lay faithful, many of them, are furious. Uh, they want to see sincere conversion of heart in church leaders. Do you get the sense the Vatican understands this level of frustration and is willing to do something about it? Well, I would say that when Pope Francis uh, heard the, the extent of the problem and decided that rather than simply uh, letting the American bishops address it as if it was a problem that's very much a, a confined to the United States, uh, I think he, he was aware of the fact that this is a much broader question and that it, it affects um, the clergy across the, the spectrum. And I think that's why the February meeting is, is not just a response to a particular question in the United States, but something that's going to be the, laying the foundation of perhaps a, a, a new reform of the clergy as such. And in the way that people can un b believe that there is going to be sincere conversion of heart. And, you know, this scandal has caused a big divide in the church, specifically as it relates to its cause. What do you see as the root cause of this scandal, and how can it be fixed in your view? Look, I'm not from the United States, so I'm not too aware of what the root cause would be in the United States. I think we let the bar slip, the moral bar slip, and uh, now we're reaping the consequences of that there. What do you and mean? There used to be a time when it uh, very strict, very strict rules of, of etiquette, of behavior, of what a priest should and shouldn't do. Um, those very strict rules were relaxed largely after the Vatican Council. And I think that's part of the, re the, 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 the reason is when you re release, when you release people from very strict rules, that there's going to tend to be an overreaction, I think. Mm -hmm. And what do you want to see come out of the February summit? I'd like to see, as came out of the Synod, where each bishop's conference sees this as an opportunity for itself to address the issue of how we're setting the standards for them and maybe even better still, helping them to set standards for themselves. I could talk to you all day, Cardinal. Thank you so much, Cardinal Wilfred Napier, yes. Archbishop of Durban, South Africa. We'll see you next time. Okay, thank you very much, Lauren. It's been nice talking to you.